now for another example of spectacular science, this time a compressed air rocket. To make one, you'll need a soft, squeezy plastic bottle. You'll also need a pair of scissors, a lump of plasticine or modelling clay, sticky tape and two plastic drinking straws. Now the size of the drinking straws is very important indeed. One should be a little wider than the other so that you can fit the narrow one in and they're a fairly tight fit as you can see. Those form the basis of both the rocket launcher and the rocket itself. Here's what you do for the rocket launcher. Take that soft squeezy plastic bottle and then take the lid and with the point of the scissors very carefully, keeping your fingers out of the way, move the scissors around until you make a small hole in the lid. I've done that already. Now, keep on making the hole larger and larger until you can take the narrower of two, those two drinking straws and just poke it through the hole. Now, it takes a few minutes to do, and you've guessed it, I've already done it with this one over here. It's a very tight fit, so that when I place that lid back on the bottle, we have a compressed air machine. You might say, compressed air? How does it compress air? by simply squeezing the bottle. You listen and watch carefully. Here we go. Did you hear the air coming out of it? You heard the sides crackling, and if you were listening very carefully, you also heard air coming out there. Because I compressed it here, it had only one place to go, and that's out the end of the straw. That's going to launch our rocket. Now, to make the rocket, you take the larger of those two drinking straws, and then get a little piece of plasticine, and put it over one end, so that seals it makes it into a sealed tube so that air can't leak out. Now it needs a couple of fins. To make the fins, a piece of stiff paper, an old envelope will do, or very thin cardboard, and then cut out two triangles. Straight line there, straight line there, holding two pieces close together so that the fins will be exactly the same size and shape. There we are there. What we're going to do now is to place those on the end of the rocket in that position there with sticky tape. So four little pieces of sticky tape will allow you to place those fins in position. Well, here's one that's already completed. There we are, sticky tape on both sides. One more change. I'll bend the ends of the fins upwards and that'll help it to fly straight. Now all we need to do is to place that rocket tail first onto the rocket launcher. Here we go, down there onto the rocket launcher now to launch it, all we need to do is to give it a countdown and squeeze the bottle. Five, four, three, two, one, zero.